Alright, hope you can hear me. It's going to be a tutorial on how to make the game of Snake. I'll play it for you first. You can read the bottom ASDW to move around here. And essentially your snake goes around and you have to hit a mouse. Your mouse will move in a random location every time you hit it. And each time you hit it your snake gets a little bit longer. Uh, the game will end when you either hit your own snake or hit an obstacle. I think I have obstacles show up. Yeah, there's one. Bam. So then you lose. Well, I c you can ignore that message. but And, oh, you, I even have a leaderboard. So, first place. And you can see... Alright, excuse me for a second. I'll be right back. Hey, here's a shot of the code and I organize my regions. So I'm just going to minimize this so you can have a good look at it. Okay, so there it is. There's my class, my information. I organize into snake stuff, collision, high score stuff, mouse, and ro rocks was the collision, mouse was the target. Alright, and then I can expand each one. You'll see there's the, obviously some code for each one. We're going to kind of work our way through this. I'm not going to do any of the high score, probably not the rocks or the mouse. But let's start with the snake, snake stuff. Okay, so on our form, I'm just going to expand this a little bit. Let's put a picture box, and this will be the area where the snake is in. Let's give it a, a color so that we can tell where it is. Naming conventions that I always use, uh, picture boxes always start with PB. So PB uh, playing field or field because this is where the mouse is going to go around. I'm going to give it a, uh, a back color here as well just so that we can tell it's a little bit different than the rest of the form. Alright, so there's our playing field here. Let's get right into the code. I'm going to get into that right now. So inside our form this is our snake stuff we're going to do first here. So region snake stuff. Okay, so the way I organized it is I had the snake is an array of picture boxes. So let's go ahead and declare the picture boxes. Dim snake as picture box. Alright, and anytime, whoops, this has got to be an array, so I should say, and the size, you know, we can make it as big as we want. I want to go with a thousand, just so I know I never have issues of running out of the snake. And then anytime you have an array, you should also have a counter. So dim, and essentially the counter is going to count the picture boxes, which also happens to be the length of the snake. So I'm going to call it that. And that's going to be an integer. And I usually set them always to negative 1 because when I go to create the snake, the first thing I do in there is increment it. So essentially it's going to start at position 0 once we get to it. I'm going to make a sub that's going to create the head of the snake. And the body of the snake is a little bit different than the head of the snake. So it needs its own s creation. So private sub create head. Alright, so we are going to increment length of snake. I guess I didn't really have to do this. This is just practice. I always set my um, variables that hold array counters to zero. So create the head, we add one. And now let's create a new picture box. So snake at position length of snake, which is now position zero, is equal to a new picture box. 
All right, next we're going to do a width statement. So we're going to say snake at position length of snake. Whoops. Length of snake dot. Uh, check that. Sorry. Forgot the word width. Width length of snake. Oh, forgot the brackets. There we go. So let's give it a height and width. So dot height. Uh, I made mine 10. So height and weight uh, width of 10. Let's give it a back color. I'm going to go white this time. Uh, what else does it need? I, we should give it a location. Um, let's go dot top. I need a random number here. So I'm going to declare a new variable for random numbers. Dim r is new random. Okay, so the dot top, I'm just essentially I'm going to randomly place it in the plane field. So uh, dot top is going to be r dot next. This is going to be between pb field dot top and pb field dot bottom. Again, what this is doing is assigning the snake, but like, technically. I can't go right to the bottom because then you may not see it. So PB field dot bottom plus no minus ten. I'm gonna go minus twenty just so I'm not right at the bottom. Close that off. Move this over and dot left. Actually, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put this in a because this is how where it's gonna be at the start of the game. So I'm gonna put it in the middle of the playing field. So I'm just going to say, uh, to get to the middle of the field, if I go PB field dot left plus PB field dot right, and then divide that all by two. And order of operations, I need some brackets in here. All right, I want to do the same thing with the dot top. So the dot top, I'm going to get rid of this. PB field dot top is equal, oh sorry, dot top is PB field dot top plus PB field dot bottom divided by two. Order of operations, put some brackets. Okay. So we gave it a height, a width, a color, a top, a left. I think that's all we got to do. Okay. Next, we got to give it controls. Who gives it controls? It's the form. So forms always referenced by me. Me dot controls dot add. And who are we giving the controls to? We are giving it to snake at position length of snake. And then because we are picture picture box is a field and a snake is a field, we want to bring it to front. Just like uh, anything with layers, you want it to sit on the front. So snake at position length of snake uh, dot bring to front. Okay, so now in our form load, let's just go ahead and go to form events. Whoops. So form events, and then over here, let's go to load. So in our form load, we're going to create a head. I think that's it. Let me zoom out. Whoops. Let me zoom out. And let's play it. Hey, there's our snake head and nothing else is happening, but at least we've got that, right? Good. Alright, our next step is to actually move the snake. What I'm going to use is the key press 
and that is a form event and over here key press so somewhere over here and I was going to use the timer to move it after that <coughs> excuse me so I'm going to use the key press the form event and uh, I want to put this in my snake stuff region so I'm just going to drag it and move it up into that region so it's in my snake stuff okay now to move the snake when I'm using key press as always students know this is that we need our uh, movers and then the timer just subtracts the movers from the location of whatever you're trying to move so I'm gonna call it uh, uh, left right mover that's an integer and we're gonna set it to zero to start and then we're gonna also do the same with a up down mover and set that to zero as well. We also need to know which or what direction the snake is going uh, because we add the next snake, the, the body of the snake based on what direction the snake is moving. Actually no, I'm gonna leave that for now. That's a little bit more complex than we need to. So in the form key press, which I'm in right now, based on what the user presses is the direction uh, the snake's gonna move. So I'm gonna use a select case here. I can always forget if it's case select or select case. I think it's case select. And it's e dot key char. And e dot key char is going to be equal to whatever ASCII value, I don't, not even ASCII, it's going to compare what's pressed on the keyboard. So our first case, I'm going to use the letter A. And I'm using ASDW. So if the letter A is pressed, that means the snake is going to go to the left. So that means left right mover whoops what did I hit there left right mover it's gonna be equal to negative 10 right because it's going to the left meaning its Y value check that its X value is going to be going lower and we also want to make sure the up down mover is set to zero because we don't want the snake moving up or down I think that's it. And then we want to go case. Let's go to the right. So that is D. And this is going to be left right mover is going to be equal to 10. And up down mover is going to be equal to 0. Next case, let's go up. So up is going to be W. And then we're going to go up down mover going to be equal to negative 10 because again we're going up we approach 0 remember 0 0 is always the top left and now we're going to go left right mover is going to be uh, negative no 0 all right 